Here we are. This is where he lives. Who shall I ask for? Don't worry about it. You're expected. Thank you, Miss Pritchard. Thank you for everything. Miss Andrea? Yes. May I take your coat? Wait just a moment, please. As we continue to view this truly remarkable collection of art, one feels more and more a sense of debt toward its donor. Now we come to some of the Impressionists, a group of painters who have always been a subject of great controversy. Their break with the past was viewed with great horror by the academic school, who had for so long reigned supreme in French art. This is a Renoir. Actually, it is a painting of the daughter of the Marquis de Marino and was said to have been done in 1894. Will you please stay with the group, miss? Me? We cannot have people wandering off by themselves. I must insist that you stay with the rest of us. <clears throat> Renoir is famous for his paintings of children, but this is one of his finest. Here we have a Corot. In this painting, the foliage, far more than any signature, proclaims the painter. Note the rich use of browns and yellows. A truly fine example of Corot and his face. For him, the countryside was a constant source of inspiration. The homely rustic scene is brought to life here with great sensitivity. What feels Hello, Corot Julie. understands the subject. Hello. The tale he conveys is a what are you doing here? Shh, quiet, please, quiet. He reveals his serenity. You know my guardian? Oh, yes. Yes, very well. You never told me before. He asked me not to. But I knew you were coming here today, and I had to see him first because there was something very important I wanted to ask him. And now, ladies and gentlemen, as is customary, we can see the door with the Pendleton family portraits. Here we have a portrait of the first Jervis Pendleton, painted by James Abbott McNeil Whistler. Jervis Pendleton II sat, or <laughs> stood, as you can see, for John Singer Sargent, whose portraits are hung in every important museum in the world. When you saw John Smith, what did you ask him? Since he's your guardian, I felt I should ask his permission before asking you to marry me. Oh. What did he say? He said I'd have to wait my turn, but he wants to ask you himself first. Oh. Why don't you? <laughs> 